Welcome back to Sweet Kitchen Skills, Markus Grigoyer. I like to have you here. Have fun. I start to clean my molds with alcohol and a fiber cloth. The best uh, temperature when you're using the molds and you spray the cocoa butter inside is 17, 18 degrees. And today I'm using the colors I made myself last time. If you have watched my last video, these are the colors. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Start by tempering the cocoa butter. Heat the cocoa butter above 45 degrees, then cool down to 26. And then use it at 26 or heat again until 28, 29 degrees. It all works. So I heat the color a little bit with this heater and then I'm ready to go. My airbrush is also heated. It's about 30, 31 degree warm. Put the color inside, put the lid on and then I'm ready to go. It's 0.5 millimeter nozzle I'm using. I have done a video about equipment. Remember to watch that one. So I will do some different designs with the red uh, cocoa butter and the gold cocoa butter and yeah, try to keep up, see what I'm doing and I hope you can try it at home. So if you hear this annoying sound in the background, it's the compressor I'm using. So it makes some noise. This technique is all about controlling the pressure value. So if you spray a lot of cocoa butter inside your mold and the, the temperature of the cocoa butter is above 26, you need to turn the molds upside down. Otherwise you have the risk of the cocoa butter running back into the cavity. Here I'm spraying a lot of color inside the mold, so I will turn it upside down. And if you like what you're watching, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, it's a lot of work to do all these videos, so please subscribe. Now let's play with the gold color. I just try different uh, designs. Sometimes I even know what I'm doing and you know, you, you should try at home, just do whatever you want to. Sometimes it turns out really nice. So for this design you need to practice a lot because you have to hit right in the center of the color to get the right design. It's really beautiful. You can make two different designs. You can put the red on top of the gold or the gold on top of the red. It gives you two different designs. Please tell me what's your favorite design. So if you want the colors really red and really gold, you need to put some white color in the back. So here I use white tempered cocoa butter. So if you're not using white chocolate for the shells, you need to put white color to get the real beautiful bright colors uh, on your shells. 
uh, and I just try to put the white cocoa butter uh, in different ways in, into the cavities just to see if there's a difference. Just imagine it's like painting on a black or white canvas, it will give you a different result. As you can see, I tried to spray the molds from all different angles. I really would appreciate if you tell me if you like the music in the background or if I should just leave the music. That's many different opinions about that. Thank you. Leave a comment. When you're done spraying, clean the molds. Do it right after you've been painting the molds, that it is, then it's much easier. Then let the cocoa butter crystallize for like 10-15 minutes at 16 degrees or even overnight. Gives me a very nice result and then fill with the chocolate, tempered chocolate. Make sure to scrape the molds very nicely so you can get a nice and clean edge. Makes it much, much easier afterwards to take the shells out of the molds. Yeah, I hope you like this design. I think it's very beautiful. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button and remember to watch the video all the way to the end and see what I'm going to do next time. I'm looking forward to next time. I found this at least 70 year old Nestle chocolate mold to make Easter eggs. I will clean this mold and bring it to life again and make some beautiful eggs. So I hope you will be back. Oh, as you can see, it really needs some work. So come back, see you soon, bye bye.